Hi, and welcome to our video about feline asthma. What feline asthma is, it's a constriction of the airway or the bronchi that lead to the lungs. What happens is an allergen will trigger the immune system, releasing stimulants in the body. And these stimulants cause inflammation and swelling of the bronchi, and then narrow the airway, making it difficult for the cat to breathe. talk about the causes of feline asthma. The thing is, there's no exact cause to feline asthma, but there are some things that can make the condition worse or make the condition appear. These things are tobacco smoke, cleaning solution vapors, aerosols, pollen, weeds, mold, dust mites, dust from really dusty kitty litter, and some foods can cause feline asthma too. Now the way to reduce the need for treatment for feline asthma is to reduce the cat's exposure to these substances. The clinical signs of feline asthma include breathing with an open mouth, very rapid breathing, crouching with an extended neck with their elbows out to the side, their chest and abdomen might move up and down abnormally. They might be wheezing, coughing, and they'll have the inability to exercise for long periods of time. In very severe cases, their lips and their nose can start to turn blue, and they also might be gagging up a foamy mucus. that your cat may have feline asthma, it would be a good idea to take them into the vet so that the vet can make a proper diagnosis. One thing they'll do is take their stethoscope and listen to the lungs, and they might hear wheezing in the lungs if they have asthma. Also, they're gonna take some x-rays of the lungs, and the x-rays are gonna show inflammation in the airways and hyperinflated lungs. We can also do some blood work in the lab and their blood work is going to show a high level of eosinophils if they have asthma because an allergic response is known to cause an increase in eosinophils. So these things combined with the history of the symptoms that we just covered in the last section will help make a proper diagnosis of feline asthma. options for feline asthma. So feline asthma in general is incurable, but it can be treated with uh, certain pill medications such as oral bronchodilators which will help open up the bronchi and also anti-inflammatory such as prednisone. Inhalers are very effective but they should be used with a tube and a spacer as well as a mask. Although sometimes some cats don't tolerate masks as well. For our last treatment a long-acting corticosteroid injection will help with that. Most people, however, will do the inhalers to help with the cat's breathing. There are many ways to help with the prevention of feline asthma. One of the most important is to avoid any types of irritants that could go through their airways, such as perfumes, aerosols, cleaning supplies, deodorants, and air fresheners. Also, doing daily asthma medication will help from getting more severe. Another thing that we can do is to keep cats inside, since keeping cats outside will increase the allergy response to them from all the pollen coming out. Also, decrease their stress level and keep their weight down to a healthy, to a healthy weight. During the winter time, it is a good idea to use a humidifier since there is dry air and cats are more susceptible to their asthma attacks being more severe. A cat with feline asthma can absolutely lead a normal life. If they're on constant anti-inflammatories, 
Um, it'll help improve their quality of life. If the allergy is avoided, then the prognosis is good. Cats that don't respond well to treatment have a more guarded prognosis. One of the things that most scientists and vets are looking at right now is that there are some cats, um, some cat breeds that have a more higher risk of the disease and they are more linked with Siamese cats so there could be a possible genetic link. If you have a cat with feeling asthma, here are some helpful tips. Number one, you have to stay on plan with all of your veterinary appointments. Also, you must look for visible signs of asthma, such as the dry heaving, coughing, and wheezing. Go to your vet for any questions that you may have or any concerns regarding your cat's health. If you follow all of these guidelines, this will greatly help your cat's quality of life. Thank you so much for watching our informational video on feline asthma.